Okay guys, so today we're going to talk about RPMs and torque and what they really mean. And I have these two machines from different centuries to show this. So RPMs only means how fast your blades go. And torque is how much resistance it takes for those blades to stop. So we'll cover RPMs first because Nowadays, I think we're all going a little RPM crazy and we don't really know what it means. And companies are advertising their RPMs everywhere, but not one company really shows you what the torque is. So we'll cover RPMs first. We have the Sabre 2 here, which gets 7,200 RPMs. So let's measure it. Sabre 2. So you see we're pretty much right on the money with the 7200 with the Sabre 2. Now let's get into this wall. And this machine is coming up on 100 years old. And let's, let's just take a look at this real quick before we uh, measure these RPMs. Got kind of a wedge blade, got the grooves, all metal body, grips on the side, switch, all the patents. Wall Clipper Company, Sterling, Illinois, 110 volts. This is the blade tension adjustment, hanging hook, spring to protect the wire from it fraying. Not bad. I'm not sure on the actual name of this clipper. I think it's the Streamliner. This is before the Senior even came out. So let's plug this in and check out these RPMs. Seventy two hundred RPMs, the same thing. So I think it's safe to say they figured out the sweet spot of RPMs over a hundred years ago, buddy. So I would say the sweet spot of RPMs is between six thousand and seventy five hundred. You can go higher, but when you get to a certain speed, the blades are moving so fast that they're just pushing the hair around and the hair really isn't sinking into the blades to get cut. You have to think of it like a rock. If you throw a rock in the water, the rock sinks. If you throw the rock quick enough, it's going to skip across the water. So if the blades are moving quick enough, the hair is not sinking into the cutting blade. And that's RPMs. So higher RPMs doesn't necessarily mean a better machine. Now let's talk about torque. Torque is something that I don't see any company advertising. And us as barbers, we need to ask that question, whether we ask them at conventions, whether we ask them in comments on social media, or we email the company themselves. So I'm going to open these machines up to show you the different motors in here. So inside the Sabre 2, we have a brushless rotary motor and inside this ancient wall, you have a magnetic motor. Now, with the magnetic motors, you generally have less torque. So I'm going to turn this on and you're going to see me stop the blades with my hand. So while they both go the same speed, they are different when it comes to getting through bulk. So let's demonstrate a lower torque machine. And I'm going to grab these blades and make them stop. So let's try to do the same thing right now on the Sabre 2, which I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to be able to do. And that's the difference with torque. Two machines from two different centuries with the same speed, but... vastly different when it comes to torque. 
Now, obviously, a magnetic motor lasts a long time. They just don't die. Look how old this thing is and still cuts and it still performs fast. The way this works is this right here moves the blades back and forth. Here you have this rotating shaft, which has a lot to do with torque that moves the blades. So that's pretty much it when explaining RPMs, which is just how fast your blades go, and torque is pretty much how much power your blade has. So if your machine is dragging and you feel like it's dragging a lot, if you have a lot of clientele that has really thick hair, then you probably need a machine with more torque. And let's, let's get on these companies. Let's ask them, how much torque does it have? Let's see them advertise us so we can really get a range. Because if you're a new barber, it's extremely confusing nowadays. Back in the day, you only had a couple machines to choose from, and you developed your whole style and craft on one or two machines. Now you have a plethora of machines to choose from, and it's hard to understand. You know, you have different motors, you have magnetic motors, microchip magnetic motors, you have rotary motors that are brushed or brushless, you have vector motors, and we talk about blades, you have so many different blades too. So when you jump from machine to machine, it's hard to develop your technique because the machine's reacting different and you're doing the same thing, you're trying to adjust to the machine and you're going to be all over the place. So if they put torque also as well on the specs for these clippers on the boxes, on the websites, it may be a little easier for you to gauge what machine may be best for you. So I hope this was a pretty simple and clear understanding of RPMs and torque. Like and subscribe, baby. Barber's Lounge.